All right, good late afternoon, everybody. The humidity is just miserable. I mean, what else do you say? Scattered storms are going to be possible every day, including through the weekend, and we are going to have some mid 90s for the weekend with heat index numbers well above 100. Now there are isolated storms on the radar right now, some near Oxford, some near Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee. That is that's about it. Still a chance for any of these to pop up before sunset, but they are going to be very isolated. Look at Dyersburg. Feels like 111 right now. Just absolutely miserable heat and humidity. Really, the humidity more than the heat. Tomorrow's heat index forecast 107 right there with the danger level. Again, just days and days of this starts to wear on the body. You have to continue to be careful because uh, it's almost like we, we never get used to humidity this bad uh, for this long of a period of time in the summer. Uh, last 30 days, the only locations of concern really as far as a rainfall deficit are Jackson and Dyersburg and areas in between. Now the future cast model shows anything on the radar right now should die out as we lose the heating of the day and tomorrow We'll do it all over again. This is nine o'clock Wednesday morning. Notice warm and notice rain and storms developing by the afternoon. This is three o'clock. There may be a few more on the radar than the model is showing, uh, but you can see it will be very isolated in nature. So not all of us will get rain, but everybody needs to be prepared at any point to get rain if that makes sense. Better chances for rain head our way on Thursday. This is Thursday at 11 o'clock in the morning. Now I really think that is the best chance for rain area wide uh, over the next seven days. That's going to be on Thursday and that activity also should go away after the sun sets. All right. So how much? What is the latest update from the computer model of how much rain is going to fall over the next seven days? Looks like everybody will get some. The numbers aren't quite as high as yesterday, about a half inch in the city of Memphis. River level continues to fall and be negative. And hey, your seven day forecast shows an 89. How about that on Thursday, Friday, 90. The weekend, it gets hot again. We're talking mid 90s with overnight lows in the 70s to around 80. So a typical summertime pattern continues. You know, we've been following severe storms and floods in Kentucky. The torrential rain, well, it's finally stopped. But now residents face a new weather challenge, extreme heat. ABC's Alex Christoropoulos has more. Rescuers now on day six, desperately searching for survivors as the death toll rises to at least 37 in the historic Kentucky floods. It's going to take years to rebuild uh, people left with absolutely nothing uh, homes that we don't know where they are hundreds of people whose homes were swallowed up by the water now staying in shelters and state parks hundreds more still missing coming up out of the trees 80 feet below so far first responders have rescued more than 1400 people the kentucky national guard lifting those stranded to safety high above the flood water and finally some relief from the catastrophic storms governor bashir reporting a break in the weather for a couple of days but warning the next big weather challenge will be extreme heat it's going to get really really hot in areas that are devastated that we're still getting power to some places are going to be dangerously hot so especially for our seniors and those who are otherwise fragile uh, we need to make sure we get them to a cool place. Nearly 10,000 are still without power, some without water, as rescuers work to clear blocked roads. It's, it looks like a war zone around here. This community has come together more than anything, but the work is not done here. We need the most help you've ever seen in your life. Among those offering help, one of the most decorated teams in college sports. The University of Kentucky's men's basketball team will host an open practice and telethon tonight to raise money for the flood victims. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. Uh, just devastating, certainly praying for the families. Coming up, an update on what you can soon expect at Shelby Farms Park.